Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Mohar, and I'm back today with another very inspirational story for all of you. Friends, the story I bought for you today is about Soichiro Honda, a Japanese engineer and industrialist. A story of his courage, his ability to overcome obstacles, his positive attitude and a never say die attitude which he possessed. He went on to found the Honda Motor Company Limited in 1948. He oversaw its expansion from bicycles to motorcycles and automobiles. A truly inspirational human being. I'll be sharing more about him on the video shortly. But before that, could I request you kindly subscribe to the channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant and also share these videos with your friends and family. Encourage them to subscribe. What we bring for you on this channel is true stories of mankind living by the eternal human principles. And our mission is to encourage the present and coming generations to live by these principles. Coming back to our inspirational person, Soichiro Honda. Born on 17 November 1906, his father, Gihai Honda, was a blacksmith and mother, Mika Honda, a weaver. Soichiro was never interested in formal education, but he was thrilled when he saw his first car in the village. He says he never forgot the smell of oil which came from the car. He also once borrowed his father's cycle to see the demonstration of the airplane made by Art Smith. This cemented his desire for machines and innovation. He left home at the young age of 15 years in 1922, went to Tokyo and worked as a mechanic for six years. He returned home to start his own business in 1928 at the age of 22. He later turned his attention to designing a piston for Toyota Motors. He wanted to sell and manufacture this piston. He invested all his money and even sold all of his wife's jewelry. However, the piston was rejected by Toyota. Was Honda frustrated? Of course, yes. Totally broke. Totally, totally broke. Did he quit? No, this is where we can learn from his, from him about his never say die attitude. He worked another two years tirelessly to improve it. Finally, Toyota bought the design and he wanted to go ahead and start manufacturing the piston. Another obstacle came on his way. He needed to set up his factory and for setting up his factory he needed to procure concrete. But Japan was gearing up for World War II and no concrete was available. Did Honda give up? Was he frustrated? Did he surrender his dreams? No. Did he quit? No. He carried on with courage, gathered his friends and worked on multiple ideas, innovated and tried multiple other solutions to make concrete. Finally, they found a way to manufacture concrete and he started his factory in 1937. Unfortunately for him, his fact, one of his factories was destroyed in an earthquake in 1945 and the second factory was bombed out by US B-29 bombers and totally destroyed in 1944. Again, a man who had overcome tremendous odds to build his factory. Was he depressed? Did he give up? No, not at all. He sold whatever he could salvage from the destroyed factories to Toyota for 4,50,000 yen and decided to go into motorcycle manufacturing. 1948, he wrote a letter to 18,000 bicycle sh 
shop owners in Japan, sharing his idea with them and 300 responded and gave him money. Was he an overnight success in this new bicycle? It was a total failure. It was too bulky and too big and did not succeed in the market. Did he give up again? Frustrated? Broke? Broken? Depressed? No. He carried on. He learned from his failure, understood where the errors were and stripped down the original bike, made it smaller and lighter and called it the cub. It became a so-called overnight success. People called him lucky. But we know the hard work he put in, his courage, his ingenuity, his ability to overcome obstacles. He then, along with his friend Takei Fujisawa, decided to expand their venture. He made his friend the head of finance, president of Honda Automobiles. Now, he transformed it into a multi-billion dollar company. 1959, he set up his first dealership in the US of A and he outsold the American Triumph and Harley Davidson by a large margin thanks to his marketing and the products which he sold were world-class quality. Honda re remained president in 1973 where he retired and he became a supreme advisor and director. He focused on the Honda Foundation. 1983 People's Magazine called him the 25 most interesting people of the year. He was called the Japanese Honda Ford. Today Honda Motors has over 1 lakh people and it is set up thanks to his never give up commitment and courage. Post his retirement, along with his wife, he took a private, private, license, private pilot license and also enjoyed skiing, golf, hang gliding, ballooning. He was also an accomplished artist. He died on August 5, 1991 at the age of 84 years. He won multiple awards including the Golden Peasant Award by the Scouts Association of Japan, Order of the Rising Sun and Grand Officer Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. Honda will forever be remembered for his courage, his ability to overcome obstacles, his ingenuity and his never say die attitude. Friends, I am sure you enjoy these videos which I bring for you on your favorite channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Please do subscribe to the channel. I will be back very soon with another very inspirational video on your favorite channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Good luck. All the best. Stay safe.